Crying emojis in the chat, pimps. Crying emojis in the chat. Oh my lord. What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. And this time I wanted to take a quick look at our boy DSP's performance for October and also the months prior. So I've been stating for a while that Phil's channel for the last year or so has just been dying. Uh, it is drying up drying up at the roots and uh, there is no uh, stopping the bleeding um, and I wanted to make this video because I know some people uh, I noticed in my comment section that uh, people kind of get a little down whenever something good happens to Phil you know they, they seem like oh what's the point uh, Phil always uh, ends up on top and and ends up you know even though something happens to him or we think that maybe he he might be taken off the platform or whatever the case is it kind of turns around and works out in his favor and i personally don't think that's true at all i i don't believe that at all um yeah he he has his core uh viewership that support him he has roughly about 20 people 15 to 20 people that actually donate and uh you know give up their disability checks and their unemployment checks to support Phil and a lot of it is due to the whole let's stick it to the troll mentality that DSP has managed to uh, ingrain ingrain in their brain essentially uh, where you know you hear those bud phrases like we 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 you know what I mean and essentially he tries to cultivate um, a, a stream like uh, a stream like uh, mentality of you know we own this together and although it's not we it's him he's benefiting all the money from it um you know so I, I i think that's some of it but uh what i wanted to do is i wanted to quickly go through his viewers views um and i know phil loves to depending on the day uh you know phil will tell you views don't matter and on other days you say view viewership is key for growing the channel and uh I agree with the latter. Viewership is uh, critical, especially on YouTube. Uh, if you see a trend with your channel where it's just, you know, tanking or dropping, you know, that's something that, that, that should worry you. Like, the one thing I do is I, I look at my analytics a couple times a day just to look at it, see what's going on, see what's trending. I can, I can identify which videos are popular, which video gets traction, which videos hold longer viewership or, or view, view time and I can adjust my future content to kind of mimic that you know it's kind of like almost a formula uh, and 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 you know and I'm pretty sure that Phil does not do that whatsoever I mean this year yeah he's gotten to the whole oh subscribe like view whatever because it helps the channel and the algorithm uh, and you know it only took him 14 years to figure that out uh, but anyway, like I was saying, viewership is very critical because it, it, it's like a heart. It gives you the heartbeat of, of the channel. And as you can see here, I pulled it up. Uh, Social Blade is very good when it comes to subscriber and viewership counts. Uh, they actually um, uh, hit the, the YouTube site to pull this information. Uh, so they, it's a very helpful information that you can actually glean uh, good data from. There are their uh, dollar amount estimated earning that's that's always wrong you know it, 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 you can't follow that because they're essentially guessing um because they don't know how many people watch ads and so on they're just basing on views and kind of what the average is and cpm and stuff like that so you, you really can't gain much from that but anyway the thing you can glean from though is viewership and as you can see here our boy phil uh let me blow this up as you can see this is dsp channel or dsp gaming and what I'm using here is I'm using socialblade.com, which is a very reputable uh, site. Let me blow this up a little bit. So as you can see here, our boy, Phil, uh, this is his trend line going all the way back to 20, to January 2021, where he averaged about 831,000 views. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of consistent. It's between, you know, uh, seven and eight. And then he hit an all time high I think of uh, 1.013 million views, which was like his ultimate high. And then of course he dropped. And that was in May of 2020, uh, April, April of 2020. I'm not sure what was going on back then, but 
yeah, uh, so he, he was doing okay back in 2020 before he actually moved back to YouTube. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, he kind of peaked again at 1 million on July 2020, and then he just dropped. He dropped to 800,000, 740,000. So, so from September 2020, he was hovering about 700 to 800,000 views a month, which for a channel his size, it's pretty pitiful but again you know yeah and then as you can keep seeing here so this is yeah so he was doing 749 703 uh, i'm guessing the algorithm may have changed in the beginning of 2021 and that's why his viewership dropped uh which happens uh real quick let me just uh lower this a little bit yep so as you can see in 2021, he averaged roughly about 700,000 views. And then there were certain months where he dropped. June 2021, last summer, he dropped below 700,000, right? And then it was at this point where you can start seeing a significant pattern here, right? So he went from, uh, you know, hitting mostly 800,000 a year, uh, a month, uh, all the way down to 650,000 views on average, right? So November, December, and mind you, October, November, December was the is the hardcore gaming season, and our boy Phil struggled. And then January twenty twenty two, where he started the whole, you know, he wanted to grow his channel. He was going to ask for uh, views. He was going to ask for uh, subbing, likes, and so on. He got a little bump, seven hundred seventy one thousand views. Okay, but then back in February, okay, he dropped again to six hundred seventy thousand. And mind you, at the beginning of the year, we had he had some new releases. You know, he had Elden Ring and so on, which I think more was Elden Ring was March, April, around there. But you can just see that you know he was hovering at six hundred sixty-eight thousand, April seven hundred thousand, uh, May seven hundred thirty-three thousand, seven fifty-eight. So he kind of came back up again a little, you know, for a couple months there, seven thirty-two, and then that was July twenty-two, and then from there it just dropped. He dropped, he catered down to 617,000 views. He bumped up a little bit in September. And then for October, he's back down to 600 some thousand views. So for the month of October, I believe he uh, made, he got about 676,000 views. So yeah, and this is supposed to be the busy season. And it's shocking that for October, he only got 676,000 views, uh, being that he had a bunch of new releases. Um, so he should have been back up there in the high sevens, maybe eights. And he hasn't. It, it just, it hasn't, for whatever reason, it hasn't recouped for him. I think a lot of it is just uh, his content. Well, the main thing, his content is super stale. And it's the same thing over and over again. And, you know, he's trying to modify it with uh, reacts and stuff like that. But it doesn't get him viewership. It gets him money from his den heads when he does those marathons. But it doesn't get him viewership. And I guess for Phil, you know, you know, if he, if, if he, if he, you know, if he had to choose whether he gets ad revenue and viewership and, you know, a bump in his channel versus getting high tips, he always, he would rather get high tips. Um, and that's here to stay. Uh, the problem with tips is you're, you're counting on that day to day and you're hoping that the 20 or so people that donate continue to donate. And as we've seen recently, he's lost a few sub, some of his whales. He lost Snorlax King, he lost Rob on Wheels, and then he lost that one lady, I forgot her name. Uh, people that contributed and visited the streams and were, were, were kind of an integral part of his streams. And they left, you know, so he's down to maybe 15 to 18 people that are actually donating. Um, and that's another reason, that's another thing why he wants the interview. He wants the interview not because he wants to put his side out. He wants to interview for clout. He wants the interview to, to sh show a light on his channel. So people that don't even care about DSP, maybe they'll see it. There'll be another audience that see it and will will have pity on him and come check out his stream. And hopefully, you know, if he gets a couple 10, 20,000 people that actually come check in the screen, if, you know, he gets a few hundred that stick around, then he figures, oh, you know, that that's a benefit and I can grow my channel. But I think he's seen these numbers and he knows that his channel has tanked. I know that for this month, uh, the memberships kind of saved him. 
Uh, but that's going to go away in November. I can't see that Team Ico guy or Team OIC uh, dumping another twenty, you know, two thousand dollars on our boy Phil next month. It's it's just not not doable. Uh, so I just wanted to share that information that our boy Phil channel is essentially just dying little by little. It is dying, and I know he talks about oh my subs increase, um, you know my viewership increase what which they have not i clearly show it here he's just gone from you know april 2020 2020 with one point you know one one million views all the way down to barely barely 600 a little over six hundred fifty thousand views which is quite quite sad now phil you know you might say you know what is it why why is his viewership tanking so much and the funny thing is is that I actually had a record-breaking month this year. Um, record-breaking month. So I've been doing really good. I've been doing really good for the last few months. You know, I've been averaging between seven and 800,000 views. Last month, I think I got up to almost 900,000 views. And this month, thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. You guys got me to 1.1 million views. This is just October right here. This is just October. I got the 1.1 million views. And you might say, well, you know, duty, this most of the stuff is in your content anyway. Yeah, I clip Phil, I clip wings, I do some gameplay, I do streams. Um, I change it up, I alter it, I provide commentary and stuff. Um, yeah, and I managed to get 1.1 million views. You guys have too much time on your hands. Uh, you know, you guys could be doing better things than watching duty streams, uh, you know, uh, make fun of an old, old 40 year old geezer. But I appreciate it. Well, I do appreciate it. But, you know, um, it just shows that if you're a little funny, if you're a little clever, if you you, you, you make a lot of, you know, you don't take yourself too serious. Like, you, know, you guys know I don't take myself serious at all. Um, you could do okay on YouTube and just for some reason, Phil can't. Uh, and a lot of, and it's shocking because Phil does have a lot of view, viewer hate, hate viewers, you know, that watch his content to make fun of him and stuff. And uh, I think some of it, too, is that he's just... Well, a lot of it, I think people have just moved on. They're, they're bored with Phil. And, uh, you know, they usually kind of come back when something big happens. And then second, you know, he's just become very belligerent and just disgusting with his uh, begging and stuff. I don't know how many times I read in my comments. Um, hey, duty, I love your content, but I can't watch anymore. I'm done. Phil just is disgusting. He annoys me. You know, his begging has just gone too far and they just stop. And I always say, hey, I understand. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I, I, I completely understand. And I think some of that is, uh, you know, there are a lot of things, but I think those are pieces to the root cause of why uh, Phil's channel is dying. So just wanted to point that out there, let you guys know and just tell you that don't get discouraged. You know, um, you know, he may get a couple wins here and there, you know, and, and for Phil, wins is money. Um, but you have to remember, you know, uh, money, the thing with money, the thing when you depend on other people's money, and I've said this quote before, Margaret Thatcher, and I think it was Winston Churchill and Ronald Reagan stated it, is that the problem with socialism, which Phil is practicing, he's not practicing capitalism, he's practicing socialism. On, you know, his business is a socialist, a socialist dream. Uh, the problem with socialism is that you eventually run out of other people's money. And that's what's going to happen here with Phil. Eventually, you know, the gas, the, the tank's going to dry up. He He's not going to be able to feign distress. Uh, his big whales are going to leave. They're going to, you know, you know, they're going to find other things to do. And he's going to be left there because he can't adapt on the fly. Phil cannot adapt on the fly. And essentially, I think he'll be eventually forced to either go on disability, run some other scam, or actually get a job, you know, uh, or he'll make cat kill job or uh, a second job. Uh, so just wanted to share that little tidbit, some information. Thank you guys again. I appreciate it. And, and again, thank you guys for making me, um, allowing me, you know, uh, not even allow me, just, just thank you guys for viewing my content and, uh, you know, give me a nice record breaking month for October. I do appreciate it, guys. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.